I'm Species7, and welcome to my channel. Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to my show. So I see there was a new update to the mod pack this morning. We're now running version 801. And when they do that, and I go to the login, on occasion, just as you click your final login step, a yes and no appear at the bottom of the screen. Now, <laughs> I don't know what question they're asking, because it sort of doesn't appear on the bottom of the screen, or the middle of the screen, or any bloody other place. So, uh, I tend to click yes, because I figure if I click no, they're probably not going to load my game. Now, whether that yes is to continue without the changes implemented or whatever, I'm sorry, I don't know. But, to catch up with where we were yesterday, we had just created our redstone energy cells and our conduits. So see here that I have the conduits in place. Um, back of our gear. Of course, they're going nowhere, and that's fine, because these are portable. And if we right-click on this, we can see that it's up to 37,000 something. And it's no longer receiving power. Okay. Um, let's try flipping the switch. And still nothing. Okie dokie. So. But as you can see, they do hold a fair bit. Uh, 600,000 units is what those batteries mac out at, so can't bitch about that. But why? Why? Huh. Absolutely no lava left. So how could that be? They haven't charged up any further. And yet, all my lava cells are gone. That's just bloody weird. Here's the other three cells. And, yeah, they've all reached the same point and stopped. Hmm. But, I promised you a demo of what these could do, so we will carry on with that. Back here, what I've done is I brought in a quarry. And by brought in, of course, since I have absolutely no industrial craft up to this point, um, yes, I did use any eye to get it. And once this little demo thing's over, I think we'll just have to get rid of it. So, at any rate, here we go. We have a battery. Um, and we're going to, for the moment, um, let's take this down to, say, 5. Okay. And we'll start it up. And there, at 5, you can see she's moving along pretty quick. Let's allow it to get 10. <laughs> yeah, now she's really moving. Pump it up another 5. That's pretty close to as quick as I've ever seen a quarry move. 20, which I believe might be the max that a quarry will use. That's pretty quick. Let's take her up to 25. Okay, I don't think that increased it at all, so... I believe that they'll take a max of 20. I could be wrong. But as you can see, these things are very, very effective. Now, we'll just shut that off. What the heck? Oh, we must have just broke a crystal. There we go. And now it ran out of juice. 
Okay. They are super, super effective. As you can see, it took it no time at all to pull that three stacks. Hmm. Wow. Okay. The other thing... No, I don't. But I sort of wanted to demo about these. And we got to go back upstairs for this. Was a oh, beautiful day. And the same thing as doing outside. Okay, I believe if I look in here. Ah, yes. This is called a prototype Omni wrench. And again, it's just another. Another wrench, and this particular one is used for redstone hoops. The recipe is in NEI, so it's fairly simple. It's not expensive. There we go. And what's really nice is this. Now, as you can see, we've got 380,000 and a little bit of change. So... But if I use this and right click, shift right click, sorry. Now I pick the item up, 380,000 and some change. There you go. It retains its charge. So, yeah, if the one running the quarry runs out of juice, you simply pick one of these up, wander on down to your quarry, drop it down, and you've got another 600,000 in juice to use. Um, same thing works for these conduits. They actually hold a little bit of a redstone charge. Um, you can break them and move them. The other thing we need to pay a little bit of attention to is, you see on the top there's an orange band. If you look here, you'll see there's a blue band. Those are directional indicators. You'll also notice it's kind of an arrow shape, I suppose. Well, a right click with a wrench. And that changes. Now, although it is stylized, you can see that now it appears the arrow is sort of pointing down. And that's exactly what it's doing. If it's blue, it means it's an input. So at this point, these three motors would be outputting their power into this, which of course doesn't work. So it's pointless, so we'll change it. So these are out. So you see these are all blue, and they're all pointing in to feed power in. And that's another way that you can control these when they're actually in use. Right. Not only do you have complete control over how much input they get and how much output, but you can also change and control their information. So, there you have it. That's energy cells and energy conduits. Amazing little animals. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a word of warning, um, don't try and use that Omni tool to uh, hit a lever. Apparently it'll spin your lever in place. That's just weird. See, it's not actually shutting it on or off, it's just turning it. That's kind of cool, actually, because I'm one of those compulsive people that if I have three levers in a row, I want them all pointing the same way. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. I will have to keep that in mind. So as you can see, it would not take a rig like this very long to tap its way down to bedrock. Not very long at all. Um, yeah, it chews through the juice pretty good. But at 20 Minecraft jewels per tick, it will eat 20 Minecraft jewels per tick. So we're going to kind of have to expect it. So, but there you be. There's a quick of just what these things can do. Um, the only real downfall of them 
is they will not accept the logic gates from your autocrat or uh, uh, assembly table, excuse me. Which is unfortunate. I mean, they have some pretty nice uses, but wow. Look at those things fly. <laughs> That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. That's incredible, actually. Hmm. I granted it is the smallest size quarry that this thing makes from its own natural, but hey, it's still chewing them up at a fair rate. Wow. Crazy stuff. All right. So I am going to go and read up the notes on the last changes. I think we'll kick this back down. There we go. Just to find out if this world is still viable or not. Um, if it turns out there's been some major changes and that yes, no thing they ask you about is actually saying whether you want to continue without them or not. Um, depending on what they are, I may have to reset all of this back up with a new spawn. But we don't know. We'll have to see how that particular little bit goes. Yes, indeed. Wow. Hmm. Unreal. I still don't understand why those ran out of lava cells so quickly. Huh. It really doesn't make sense because they should not be dead empty. They won't run when I'm not here. At least I'm pretty sure those things don't run when you're not on. And yet they had lots yesterday. So, what exactly has happened? And there are none in there. Hmm. Okay, that is really, really unusual, because I should have, well, quite a few. In all honesty, quite a few. Well, I guess I can't even run them down there now. Oh, well, looks like I have to take a manual trip to the old lava bed there and scratch some up the old-fashioned way, fill some cylinders. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, I just make some lava with my magma crucible. Sure. Now lots another rack. That wouldn't be a problem, except well actually, it isn't a problem. What the hell am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? Magma crucible, eh? Sure. We can do that. Let's just take us a rack of this and fire it in. Then, link. Da -da -do -do. Oh. Alrighty, lay it down there. Okay. That is going to be an issue. Hmm. I was kind of hoping they'd done something about that. And on a single length of pipe, when you hit it with a wrench, it changes both. So we're going to have to set this up a little bit differently. 